Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Poly Bridge 3. Now we are working through the very terrifying hydraulic campaign. This level is called joint work. So in this level we have a tractor, we have a motorbike. They've got to get over this side. It looks like the tractor stops there on that stop symbol thing. But beforehand there's a hydraulic phase because this is a boat. Oh yeah that's a massive sail. Okay so to start with let's use the line tool to do that and then we'll fill in with road. Push. So we've got road like that. Then to keep it simple, I think let's just do bog standard trusses all the way to there. And then we'll do a truss under there. So if we press play, let's just check that's how it works. Yeah. So you stop there. You go all the way across. And then the boat comes and absolutely wrecks our bridge. Very cool looking boat, by the way. Look at the water physics. Now, which means we need to use hydraulics, which we have two of, as you can see down there, to make a bit of a drawbridge to get this out the way or do we because if you look at the price of hydraulic 750 quid per meter whereas wood just costs 180 quid so what i'm thinking we turn the grid off we delete everything we have and instead we build a bridge to like there-ish then if we unlock our tangents i'm pretty sure as long as the tractor wheel like very slightly touches that it should still count so let's just push those into place and see if that is poking through enough that this works so very quickly yes it does okay that's good oh and the motorbike made it even better so we're going to use wood to create a truss underneath like that and then i've added like a little muscle at the end so that should support the bridge for like reasonably cheap i mean what are we we're nearly half the budget uh, all because we're not using hydraulics so let's just see how this works so both of those go tractor stops there the motorbike <laughs> complete forward roll and then oh what happened there? Why are you? Why did you do that? Ah, look, there's a joint there. So if I press J on that, that's no longer a joint. Um, and a joint just means during hydraulic phases, they like let go. Hence that was swinging underneath. Okay, so that should be better. You can see the boat passes underneath without any damage. The question is, is this strong enough up here to support the tractor? If we turn the stress on, we can see parts go red as they get more stressed. Okay, it made it. But it didn't quite make it to the flag, if you know what I mean. Oh, that's so annoying. That was so close. Uh, what if we, like, lift that up and do that a bit? Oh, now the motorbike doesn't make it. Although it is still moving. What if we fast forward time? I mean, it's definitely heading in the right direction. So if I just have some patience and go make a cup of tea and drink it out of my Architect Tears mug from my merch store, realservilengineer.com. By the time we've slurped it down, she's hit the flag, which means we can see if the change helps the track to make it oh that wasn't worth waiting but a little bit of tweaking means she makes it and then the tractor makes it nice and where are we on that leaderboard oh 157 top two percent i reckon we can do some tweaking here though so looking at the stress i can see that's fairly orange but like that underneath isn't at all really so i can probably lift that up and probably do the same on this side question do i need all the pieces in the middle or can i get rid of one yeah that seems to hold this wall brace can be smaller and then that's got us to a very very nice leaderboard position nice. top one percent and we beat aliens rock so let's have a look in the gallery at the cheapest solutions oh so it's building sort of two bridges look at that rocking building two bridges so that the the sail goes between the bridge ah oh yeah looking at all of these they're all like just leave a gap map just leave a gap for the boat. They make it a small gap if you need to. There were a couple of bridges that went up like mine. Actually, that's very, very similar to mine. It's even got like the muscle at the end. You can see they used an extra piece over here though. I reckon they could have got away with putting that under there. Maybe it would have been cheaper. Anyway, obviously the more expensive ones actually use hydraulics as you're meant to because it is a hydraulic world, but uh, that is not what we like to do. We like to beat these levels without having to think. Now, unfortunately, leaderboards are still a bit broken for the top ones. I think it's actually fixed as you're watching this but as it's been recorded still not there yet so we're just gonna have to move on to the next level which is called Raisin Bridge so for this one oh we we have some pre-built stuff that we can't delete 0.69 polygrams in weight nice but essentially we have yeah that car goes down there 
<laughs> um, so I don't get why can't I just like do that and then do another bridge. No road material remaining. Oh no, there's only six pieces of road. Okay, now I understand why there's hydraulics on this, but I don't understand how I'm meant to complete this level. Oh dear. I mean, actually, actually, I say that I'm pretty sure I can. Like if I have the grid on, if we do trusses underneath like that, then that should support that car. Yeah. Oh no, we make that a little bit bigger in the middle. Then yeah, that supports that fine. For some reason, there was joints on all of those, which I did not want. But then I can probably just like, if I put hydraulics on those two, that should lift the entire thing up, right? I don't know to where though. So I have to see where it stops. Oh, almost perfect. I think... Okay, it's worked. I did a hydraulic level first time. I nearly used all the budget though. I'm still at the top 24%. Very interesting. Although, oh no, I'm 2,297th. Look who's above me. It's Nifty with the Nifty sponsored solution. Um, if we have a look on friends list. Oh, Ty is 80th. 8,000 quid he did this one for. Oh man. So what if I get rid of the hydraulics? That's what? He can't have used hydraulics. Surely. I mean, you need to. Surely. <laughs> There's a lot of surely's going on. Actually, I say that. I say that. You don't. You really don't. Because what I am thinking, if we had like a bit of road there or something, and the rest of it going across to there-ish, I need it to go low enough that this car can pass under. But look, we've got all of this built for us. So if we hang our bridge from it, and we've essentially just gained a load of anchor points for free. So if I then trust the middle, like that's pretty much an entire bridge for like no money. If we then just do up to there. So that's under six grand and the car makes it across. The question is, ooh, how do we get that to land on there safely? Yeah, because I've connected another piece up there, but yeah, it's not strong enough. That car just falls straight through. I mean, trusting that end up does work. However, we've got to get the car up to that flag, remember? So we're probably going to need hydraulic on this side just to bring this piece up. So what I'm thinking if I do that sort of thing, then that should rotate it up. I can make that a joint. Then let's just see. So that arm goes up ooh, way too high, but by tweaking it a bit, that should be enough of a gap. Yeah, it gets up. So we're down to nine grand now, yeah, but there was a break this end. Right, what if I add a little hydraulic on that side just so the ramp is like a bit softer? Yeah, that works. That works. Oh, no, no. But after adding a few more pieces in to make it a bit more stable, we've made it. We're just under 10 grand, which means we've jumped up to 129th, top 1%. I need to save another like 1,500 quid to beat Tyler. So the big question then, are there any pieces we can, we can chop? don't see why I need all of that. Couldn't I just do that? Technically, that could work. Oh, yeah, it worked. It worked. 9,000. We just saved 900 quid. Got another 500 more to do. I reckon it's probably this hydraulic on the end. I could try just doing that and then... I don't know, just trying to tweak like all the bridge to get it to, to not break when that falls. But at the moment, that guy just drives straight through. Oh, I've done a bit of tweaking and look, it almost, almost holds there. So what if we just drag that to there? So yes, yes. Oh, oh my goodness, look how cheap it is. We smashed Tyler by like a grand, but I only moved up like 10 places or so, maybe 20 places. Still, considering that is a hydraulic level, I am happy. Let's have a look in the gallery at the cheapest. What is that? <laughs> the cheapest way of doing that. Saved another like 1,400 quid from mine. They're all pretty similar. I don't really know what's going on. I mean, look how few pieces there are. How does that hold? The right is like identical to mine though. And yeah, that one's very, very similar. Although look how small their hydraulic is. They get the same movement, but because they know how hydraulics work, unlike me, uh, the length of hydraulic is tiny, which means it's a hell of a lot cheaper. Now we got this one, which I don't get. Why is there a gap in the middle? I assume just because they wouldn't reach, I guess. But yeah, mini hydraulics on either side just to get the double flappage. In these levels, it's all about minimizing the hydraulic use. Uh, there are some funky old solutions to doing this though. Fair play. Oh, and some RCE propaganda. How, wait, how's this bridge going to work? The hydraulics horizontal. How is that going to get height? Sure. Wait, what? It's rotating the entire, th what? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> 
fair play, Mitch. That was incredible. Ooh, this looks interesting. They did their hydraulics across that bit. Ah, nice. And it locked in. This one has a whole lot of truss going on. It looks a mess, but I imagine it's... Oh my goodness. How does that... What? How... No, I don't like it. My brain. I'm not ready for this. Anyway, with that, we go on to the next level. Return to sender. Ooh, so this one, there's a delivery company. They come over this way. And look, can you see this checkpoint has the spinny arrows? That means it's going to reverse and come back. And the flag's down there. So essentially, if we were to draw a line of road in, like, boosh. We've basically got to get our bridge from there to end up down there using hydraulics. However, we don't want to use hydraulics. We do not like them. So my thinking is, can we go over to like there-ish? Presumably that's tall enough that the van will fit under. It might not actually. Let's bring that down a bit. Yeah, if we do that, we're probably going to need some extra road. Is it worth not using hydraulics on this level? I'm not actually sure. But I've come up with that for like the way there. So you can see this comes down. It's pretty strong because look how fast he turns around. He's proper speeding. He gets paid per delivery. Um, but essentially when we hit this, that triggers hydraulics to go. But because there's no hydraulics, the other thing it triggers are joints. So if I shove a joint there and I give those numbers, that means they're sort of connected together, but they're not connected to that. If I do another joint there and make all these bottom pieces twos and then the top one, that means that will be disconnected. I can do the same for that. So the top is one, the bottom is twos, and then do the same there and the same on this one. So that hopefully when that gets the checkpoint, that drops. Nice. And then, oh, it doesn't have the strength to come back. If I just shore up that wall brace a bit. Okay, so that looks good. Gets over to there. We say goodbye to that piece. And then as it comes through, you know, oh, so close. But by adding a little bit of wood in there, we've made it. However, max stress 100%. Oh, no. So I'm guessing that is, yeah, look, that piece broke. I think when this drops, uh, that counts as a break. Oh, that's slightly, uh, slightly annoying, that is. Um, I am tempted, though, because this is quite a lot of extra wood and stuff. If we just go back to, like, simple bridge if i just make this a truss and i'm just wondering like can i can i get away with a small hydraulic rather than no hydraulic like if i put one there it should contract and hopefully go to around there -ish. it's strong enough to go that way how is this gonna work Ooh, okay a little bit too low so we just make the hydraulic shorter i'll tell you what look at the price this is way cheaper so if i just tweak this until it stops in the right place i can assure you i'm definitely using mathematics and equations to do this it's not just trial and error okay so that locks in at the right point we are now failing on this side but i reckon if i just bring that up so it's flat and we almost get to a point where it works but look what i've just noticed it's going so fast look at that jump so ideally i need to lift these two up i think so we've got more of a curve coming down so is that any better yes oh not quite though why did you explode and you know what tweaking means we need a montage oh, imagine there's no architects it's easy if you try. No whims are cool structures. No designs up in the sky. Imagine all the bridges spanning every gap. Right, so after way more tweaking than I'd care to admit, we're down to 8,530 quid. This is what it looks like. Uh, basically what I had when I started tweaking, I think. I've just put the put the truss on top and then just really narrowed down everything else. So this is what it looks like with the stress. You can see these bits in the middle go so red. And then when it comes back, because of the speed, everything goes red, but it's good. We made it. And where are we on the leaderboards? Top 2%, 85th in the world. So we smashed Tyler. Let's have a look in the gallery at how the actual cheapest way of doing it was. 6,002. Oh my, what? Oh, what? There's felt. There's did what mine did. No way. Hey, that's Go Psych. I remember him. But yeah, for some reason, when his bit of road drops, it doesn't break. Mine broke. But I, I sort of knew that that was going to be the cheapest way of doing it. So that's cool. 
pat on the back for me, I reckon. Um, other solutions are this one. Does this one drop as well? Or, yeah, that bit dropped. How come theirs don't break? Why did mine break when it dropped? But, oh, that one did break as well completely. Stress 100%. I'm hoping with the new gallery fix, you won't actually see like the broken solutions. I don't really, I don't care for those. Or at least have a little toggle somewhere. Now, by the way, literally all these people, they had to use like road under there. I didn't on mine. wonder why that is. This person had to use like a tiny muscle down there. How is that cheaper than my... Oh, because I used hydraulic. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot. I used hydraulics. Uh, cheapest hydraulic solution is probably this one, which is sort of like mine, I guess. There's another one there. That's what I tried to do. I couldn't actually do that somehow. Oh, that's more expensive than mine as well. A couple of hundred quid more. Oh, and that one's almost identical to mine. How did they get that brace to work on that side? I needed like a double brace. Anyway, another way I could have done it is using a lot of hydraulic in the middle to lower the entire bridge. Pretty clever that, but 9,300 quid. Oh, and then this way, look, the jump is over that side and then it comes back. <laughs> that's a lot of road, but uh, quite a unique solution. What is, how is this going to work? Oh, it just goes down like that. Why are there two hydraulics? I don't understand that. All right, this one, is that just all gonna... Oh, he had droppy bits and a... Ooh, interesting. Still quite pricey for what it is, though. Uh, but nothing compared to this one. <laughs> Look at all the truss work in that. You could literally delete the entire top, and I guarantee you it'll be fine. Although he is an engineer, I can't blame him. Safety first. Safety first. No, uh, this one. How is he gonna get back? Because there's... Oh, Okay, yep, that makes sense. Ooh, the eye truss. I always thought this was like a legendary beast, but there it is in the flesh. What is going on with... Oh, I see I see what it is. I see what it is. <laughs> it's because it was upside down. I couldn't really tell. Uh, we've got the pyramid solution. <laughs> and then, hi, RCE. Hi, Lee. How are you doing? Let's have a look at your bridge. Oh, right, you were the one that did the 40 off curvy drop thing. You just added some high RCE stuff. All right, so in this one, we've got two sheep that want to get across. Their flags are over there, but those are in the way. I don't think we can do a bridge that goes over this. Right, and with road in place, you can see there's two parts that are completely in the way. I mean, actually, there's nothing to rest this middle bit on. So we are going to have to lift like either both halves up or the entire bridge up. So let's have a think about this. So if I do, if I just do truss like that and i got a hydraulic there and then i'm pretty sure that should like lift this straight up so if we press play oh no the boat's gone first the boat's gone first my bridge my beautiful bridge uh so yeah for this one we need to build the we need to build the bridge up right first so let's grab this bit we'll say cut and then we'll just rotate it so that it's out the way so oh there could actually be quite good 75 degrees so it's just a case of how do i get enough hydraulic that this comes down to the right spot because i don't think that's gonna do it if i'm honest if we turn the stress on as well yeah i think this is gonna pop at this end you can see they're slightly yellow already the more it hangs over the more force is gonna be on there look at it go red Oh, I went nowhere. <laughs> I went near low enough. We could try going to that. So does that work better? Sort of. The question is, how do I actually get this to stop in the right spot? Oh, that was that was actually quite good. Too low. So if I bring that up a bit. I'm using insane mathematic equations, but like, oh, it actually it worked. It worked. I was going to say, I'm using insane mathematic equations. Hence, it worked first time there. Um, but it did go slightly too far. That's why it's breaking. So if I just bring the expansion in a little bit, hopefully it'll stop in the right. Oh, still too low. But it should stop in the right spot. And stuff doesn't break. 95% stress. Okay, we're good. We did a hydraulic level. An actual hard one. Oh, we're in the top 2%. And we beat Aliens Rock first go. So we're 175th. I'll tell you what. I feel like concept absolutely exceptional. So if we watch with the stress on, we can see which bits go red or orange. I'm going to slow the speed right down. We've got to see like how red these bits go. So we can potentially make that wall brace a bit higher maybe. Or well, maybe not. I think that's the worst piece. This truss though can definitely be reduced. Do I even need that steel is the question. Because if I were to move... Well, if I were to move all of these to the right a bit, the right being down in this case, I can make that wood. Then is it strong enough as it gets lowered? No, it's not. It's not. But shortened, it might be. That's still cheaper. Yeah, okay. That's good. That is good. I do just wonder. So that costs 811. If I muscle it up, that costs 729 quid. And it's strong enough. Oh, yes. Okay, so next up, I think I just want to make these massively smaller. So 11,334 
four quid. You can see it goes pretty red as it starts to move down. And then as these drive across, it also goes pretty... Oh, no, it failed. I got cocky. But there's the actual solution. It's a few quid more. Now we're 111th, meaning we can look in the gallery, see who did it cheaper than us. So wait, what? 5,000? How do you do it for five grand? Oh, I cheesed it. That's... <laughs> did something drop on them? I keep an eye on these two. Oh, yes. Something dropped on them to fling them over. Okay, we'll ignore that one. But this one... Oh, yeah. So it was doing two hydraulics. But because uh, they're so small and the bridge is so small, a lot cheaper than mine. I mean, it's surprising, like, how cheap mine is, really. Because everyone's done two hydraulics. Like, these all cost more than mine. Has anyone done a single hydraulic yet? This one, but it's 13 grand. And it uses steel. But yeah, okay, there are some there are some other solutions like it as well. Look, he had to put a muscle around the road. I guess it kept breaking. Oh, and interestingly, this one has the hinge, like, on, on a platform rather than on the anchor. I remember pure facts from uh, Polybridge 2. Right, what is going? on with these i see multiple hydraulic oh it just like really smoothly comes and sits down fair play leap right then we got one that's making the most of the hydrodynamics there with a bit of rc propaganda as well you can see the bridges very efficiently come down and touch tips and then that's perfect that is engineering masterclass there well done uh, this one <laughs> the bridges start down in the water and come up that's cool. Oh, and then it looks like we're going to have a rolling bridge. Oh, yes. Love to see that. And what is going on? <laughs> Why is that? Oh, there's no hydraulics. There's literally no hydraulics in this one. Oh, it seems so excessive. Oh, and this is what I was thinking at the start, like building over the top. You still have to use hydraulics to get down, but it's possible. Right, next time we're being taught how to use the hydraulic controller. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and bridges. And hopefully next time the gallery will actually be working so I can look at your solutions fully. But for now, bye, guys.